Good morning. Yes, ma'am. This is Lane Myers. Against Absolutely, ma'am. Appreciate you taking right. the time. You want me to give you a little background? I feel like it would be fair to you because you're coming into oh, this on, blind. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me call the case first. All right, all right. In, okay? No worries. No worries. All right. We are on the record in C2024-6229, Lane Myers versus David Hill. Plaintiff Lane Myers is present, appearing by a telephone. Defendant David Hill is not present and has not been given notice of today's hearing. Um, sir, I'm going to swear you in. Could you please raise, stand up and raise your right hand for me? Sure thing, ma'am. Do you solemnly swear to speak the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I'll help you out. I do, but it suddenly became much harder to hear you. I do, I do swear that. I do agree to the oath that you just swore. Yes, I agree to that. But it, it did become significantly harder to hear you. So that was my clerk, and she was um, swearing you in from a different microphone. My bad, my Can bad. Can you hear me now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. So ho hopefully you won't. If you have any difficulty hearing, just let me know. Okay? No, that, that makes sense. That's what I mean. It suddenly sounded way far away. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, can you please state your name and date of birth for me? My name's Lane Jeffrey Myers, L-A-N-E, and then Jeffrey, and then Myers, M-Y-E-R-S. A lot of people put M-E. But no, it's ten fifteen eighty two, October fifteenth, nineteen eighty two. Okay, and you're requesting an injunction against harassment against David Hill. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And what's your re uh, what's your relationship with Mr. Hill? That's what I was gonna say. Is all right. I kind of got so I don't have one. He just keeps calling me and bothering me. Okay, and so this is a this is a in the midst of a giant. Uh, uh, in the, this is. A, in in the middle of a bigger legal war between the city of Tucson and I, they're um you know harassing me. They they're, they're saying I'm harassing them. So now they're having the, their police department harass me for like. And so for for me, ma'am, you're 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 a a judge. And the reason I came to Superior Court is because I'm having so many issues with just uh, city court and justice court. I got arrested for booing at the city council meeting, and I'm on my seventh judge. Third court, second trial date, unlawfully vacated under Rule 8.5. I don't want to get into all that. That's legal stuff. But I'm saying, so I'm having difficulties with the court over there. It's now led to me going down to the court and trying to do records requests, getting banned from coming to city court without an appointment. It's all about big dog and pony show because I'm, I filed a federal lawsuit against the city. So now what they have, they have this Sergeant David Hill guy constantly calling me saying that he wants to meet and talk to me and i'm saying i don't want to talk to you and ma'am as a judge you know if the law enforcement has a legal reason a valid reason probable cause they don't need my permission to talk to me they don't need my permission to come meet with them they don't need my permission to, to decide hey and, and then when i tell them stop calling me that that legally like if you walk away from a police officer on the street if it's you know that's I'm not reason. I have no reasonable suspicion to talk to him. I don't have. So when he calls me, it becomes a detainment because if I answer, and so it's like, well, you know, I don't have to answer, but he keeps calling, and then I left them a message, leave me alone. So I went to the FBI, and they're like, well, yeah, uh, he he just wants to give you papers, and I said they said it's an injunction for estimate. Well, I said, well, who's it against? And they said, well, we don't know. And so here's the thing, ma'am, you've been doing, you obviously do these, right? And so when there's an injunction for harassment, you have it served. You don't call somebody for a week saying, uh, in my experience, and I've never had one until a couple of days ago, they put one against me, uh, I believe unlawfully. And that's why I got to do it now because it says you can put one against them too. And so um, I believe that they got one unlawfully because they didn't meet the harassment standard. They use things from two years ago, all this stuff. And so now they're saying that they're trying to put an injunction harass me. And I'm saying, well, who is it? Well, the issue, ma'am, what they want me to do is they want to say they have an injunction harassment against me, not serve it to me in the hope that I will come in contact with the person whose name is on there, who they won't tell me who it is. So then they can say that I'm still harassing that person. Well, the FBI All said, right. the FBI said, well, they can't get you in trouble. I need to, I I need to focus you because I have to focus to just what's on your petition here. Right. I but want that I, guy to, I, I don't want him concerned. to ever contact me again oh, without sir. a lawful reason. Sir, hold on. I am a little concerned because both of your instances mention 
service of an injunction against harassment, and that is a lawful basis. That's a reasonable basis for them to be in contact no, with No, it's you. not, ma'am. You're wrong. I'm an attorney. I can't issue an order if they're doing their job. That's not, what, that's not what's happening. If they have an injunction harassment, they can serve it. You don't get to call me and ask me to, that's not, ma'am, I literally, my wife's an attorney. I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to argue with the judge, but I, you're, you're wrong. Okay. And so, so okay. this person is not contacting me in the, in the capacity of serving me an injunction. They're alleging they have one. Okay. They don't have one. They're alleging that to try to intimidate me to take down YouTube videos. That's all this is about. Okay. Right. Well, hey. Sir, let me if say, you, you deny know, me, if you deny me, I am definitely going to file a complaint against you. Okay, if there is an injunction against harassment, then they can serve you me. Can actually, you can come down to the courthouse and sign an acceptance of service, and then they will stop contacting you. The, but I tried that, ma'am, and it doesn't exist, and that's my point. You're not, you're gaslighting me. You're telling me, I'm telling you, if there was an injunction, they would have already been served. There's not, and they can leave me alone, and I absolutely can put a injunction on this harassment against this police officer i told him twice do not call me for any reason he has no lawful reason right. to call me if there is an injunction harassment for me it's not sergeant david hill sergeant david hill doesn't serve injunctions ma'am he's the emergency management threat assessment you're wrong though they use the service they serve me when i'm monday with the process server so if i went to the court i'm sorry sir i'm not gonna let you over me, but here's what I'm trying to I'm not going to let you violate my right to get an injunction for okay, harassment. All right. Well, I think we're done here then if you're not going to let me ask you questions and you're not going to answer my questions. Go if ahead. We're not going to cooperate. I cannot have a hearing. Well, with you. under rule 9.2, you can't to end it. So, um I, I mean, I can if you haven't stated a basis for an injunction against harassment, but here you need to stop talking so I can ask you some questions. Go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> You have two instances listed, one on October 14th, which states you received a call about someone trying to serve you with an injunction against the rat. No, wrong. They called me and said they wanted to talk to me and meet with me. The injunction, they said, they didn't say why. I asked them why they said it wouldn't, they wouldn't. Listen, they called me, this guy, not they, David Hill called me and I started asking him questions why he's calling me and he wouldn't tell me. And he said, that's okay. You don't want to talk to me? I'll find you and catch up with you. I said, okay, that sounds like a threat. So I called the FBI who I've been working with. I have a case going with the FBI against the city of Tucson. I immediately called the FBI and she looked into it. The agent, I'm not going to say her name right now because this is being recorded, but you can verify That's all this. Fine. I don't need it. No, I'm saying, need it. but it's all verifiable. And so I'm not, I'm not making false statements under oath. And so, so she told, she told me, listen, you can ignore him. You can tell him to leave you alone. He has no legal reason to be contacting you. That's if he has an injunction I'm, for harassment, then he can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you know something. I, it, there is a legal reason for him to be contacting you. Here's the deal, though. Nobody can tell you who the injunction. If there is an injunction filed against you, they can't give you the name of the person until it's been served. What is the legal reason that Officer David Hill can contact me, ma'am? Uh, I'm assuming he's trying to serve you with an injunction against harassment. Why would you assume that when I already articulated to the court under oath that I went and verified with both courts that there is no injunction against me? And I'm telling you, sir, that you are likely incorrect. Didn't you just, ma'am, didn't you just state for the record, didn't you just state for the record that I could go to the court and accept service? Well, I went yesterday yeah. and, and I have a YouTube video on my channel. Okay, so you and accept service of an injunction against harassment. How do you accept service of an injunction harassment that doesn't exist? Because I came to the court to accept service, ma'am. You're, you're gaslighting me, ma'am. I came to the court and they said one doesn't exist. So now you're saying you... I don't know who you spoke to. Okay. I don't know which court you went to. City court and but justice court. I do court. know that there is a valid order that has been issued against you, and I can't give you any more information until it's been served, and I'm sorry about that. So your statement for the record, there is an order issued of injunction for harassment against me? Yes. That doesn't... That doesn't uh, at, least there, at least there was as of the date that Mr. Hill last contacted you. And what but I'm saying is, is that doesn't preclude that, that doesn't preclude you from putting an injunction or, or, against harassment against Mr. Hill. They can just, ma'am, ma'am, they can have somebody else serve it. Okay. It, it, 
I am not permitted to issue and I can't find that he's harassing you if he's trying to Ma'am, I told him to not call me and he continues to call me. That's the very definition of harassment, okay? I told him don't call me. He continues you and no, he doesn't. Somebody else. Uh, there's a 500 agent, 500 officers that could do it other than him. He cannot contact me. I'm saying him specifically cannot contact me. If there's a valid reason, somebody else can contact me for a valid reason. He, Bob Hill or David Hill, excuse me, has no legal reason to contact me. He's the sergeant with threat management. I've already went through the chain of command, talked to multiple lawyers and talked to the FBI. This man does not serve injunctions, okay? If there's an injunction against Lane Myers, they've had multiple, they've had five days to serve it. Come serve me. They know where I live. There's no, this is all a dog and pony show. And now you just got yourself. You're going to be a main character now. And so welcome to the show. Okay. Well, sir, you haven't given me a basis to issue an injunction against her or to issue an injunction against harassment against an officer who's trying to- One or more acts within the last year that a reasonable person would believe- that would be considered harassing. Calling somebody who tells you not to call them. Ma'am, state for the record. Ma'am, state state for the record under the ARS that authorizes the officer to call you to serve an injunction. Because I, 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 I went through the whole thing and talked to the process server. They said, absolutely, we cannot call you ahead of time. I, I don't know what the procedure is. So how can you tell me that there are a lot... You don't know the procedure, but you're stating for the record that he can do that when I'm telling you, ma'am, my legal arguments that I want to submit to the court. I'm going to end this call. Ma'am. What I'm telling you is when we issue an injunction against harassment, it's transmitted to law enforcement. Law enforcement handles service. I don't know how they assign it to their officers. Ma'am, you're wrong. There's procedure for that. Ma'am, I'm stating for the record... I want it heard on the record, the Arizona revised statute regarding service of process. They are not allowed to contact you ahead of time, okay? Read the law. Do not gaslight me and say, say this is the law and then say I don't know the law when I'm stating the law with it in my hand, okay? I'm telling you. What is, what is the statute you're citing? The ARS for injunctions for harassment. What nowhere in here, nowhere in here. For the service of process, it must be served under the Arizona Rules of Civil Procedure, okay? You're a judge. Do you have a law degree? Of course you do. You're at Superior Court. And so, of course, I didn't mean to ask you that, but the Justice Court judges don't. And that wasn't, a, that wasn't an insult, ma'am. I was just making sure I could speak law to you. And so, so um, ARS, you know, 23371, okay, defines the acts you have. And, and he has committed the acts of harassment. I don't want him to contact me. That's fine. I understand it goes to law enforcement. That's fine. So they have 499 other officers that can serve me. That officer cannot serve. Can, I want an injunction. He is not allowed to contact me. If he has an injunction, he can give it to somebody else and they can contact me. They're attempting to harass me by contact. Why haven't they served it? And why can't I go to the court and get it? So either you're wrong when you say you can go to the court and get it. And then, I, and then nobody, well, I said, let me get it. I talked to the FBI, the FBI talked to this officer and she told me I can ignore him. I can tell him to stop contacting me. He has no lawful authority over me. If he has an injunction, he needs to serve it and he doesn't need to contact me and keep asking me to meet him. So then FBI is saying the officer is breaking the law, but the judge is over here saying he's not. Well, look, 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 so the, the law, the law for an injunction says a series of acts over a period of time directed at person that would cause a reasonable person to be seriously alarmed, annoyed, harassed, and the conduct in fact seriously alarms, annoys, or harasses the person and serves no legitimate purpose. It's that no legitimate purpose that I'm stuck on. And the reason why I'm stuck on it is just because the information that I have is that there is a legitimate purpose. So you had ex parte communicate. Hey, hey, so put you, put it on the record. Put your ex parte. Let me finish. Please let me finish. It may be that I don't have all of the information, but the information that I have in front of me right now is that there is a legitimate purpose for this person to be contacting you to serve. Put your ex parte communications on the record, ma'am. I don't know what you're talking about. How did you come to that information? I told you that there is an injunction against harassment. But At which court? I'll go, I'll, I'll go. Tell me where to go and I'll go right now. There's a, there is an injunction here. At Superior Court? Yes. Then why did I come there yesterday and not get served? I don't know. 
That I cannot answer. I'm sorry. Well, can you? If it's a public official, then it's not valid. If it's an if if it's an employee, if the injunction against harassment is a public employee, it's an invalid injunction for harassment. That I don't know. I don't know. Well, you I, seem I, to know I, everything. I, so so you I, seem to know everything. Okay. So you know everything except I the law. Not. You're saying you. No, I don't know everything. I know that there is an injunction against harassment with your name on it listed as a defendant. That doesn't mean That's David Hill know. can contact me. You're not making the legal equivalence, ma'am. You're saying it's a legitimate purpose. Then articulate for the record how that officer must do it, not one of the other 499 officers, peace, uh, state certified peace officers in Pima County. Why does it have to be that one? That's where it's not a legitimate purpose. And I'm fairly confident that you need to articulate for the record because I'm going to appeal this. I'm absolutely going to appeal this. You need to state for the record your denial. State for your record how you come to a finding that there's not a legitimate... You're saying it's not a legitimate. You're saying you're stuck on the legitimate reason. You're saying I, you can articulate how, you know, that a lot, this person, but it's not issued. It's not David Hill putting it on me. Okay. So, so whoever's putting it on me can use one of the 500 law enforcement officers in Pima County other than him. So there's no, it's a legitimate purpose. No worries. Have somebody else do it for a legitimate purpose. He lost his legitimate purpose. Assigned to him by his law enforcement agency, that is a legitimate purpose. Then why hasn't he served it? Why hasn't he served it? I, I, that's not a question that I could answer. So, so you're saying a legitimate purpose. Now articulate how having an injunction of harassment against me for four days, and instead of serving it, like you, they, you're saying they're lawfully authorized to service this lawful order against me, then why didn't they just come to my house and serve it? I told them I'm here right now. Come serve it right now. He said, no, I would rather just find you somewhere and catch up with you. Okay, so I said, if you have service of a, a order, come to my house. So when I said, if you have a legitimate purpose, I'm, I'm, I want to communicate you with you for legitimate purposes. Outside of legitimate purposes, do not contact me. He has continued to contact me outside legitimate purposes. Okay, so what you're saying, ma'am, is, is I can come down to that court right now, accept service of that document, and then you'll put the injunction on him. No, because that's a legitimate purpose. It's not. A so legitimate you purpose, ma'am. you after you've been served without a legitimate purpose, then there would be a basis. Yeah. The legitimate, if he had, if you're saying upon the initial contact, I'll agree with you. I'll concede, right? I, I, I agree. We're, we're mutually agreeing that initially when my phone first rang the very first time by this officer, he had a legitimate purpose. He got his one call that was legitimate. He called, he asked me if, uh, if I would come meet with him. I said, for what? He said, I can't tell you. I said, well, if you got a warrant, I'll go to the jail and turn myself in. If you got an injunction for harassment, I'm standing here at my house. Come serve it to me. He said, no, I'll just find you somewhere and catch up to you. I said, well, that sounds like a threat and I feel threatened. He said, well, I don't know what to tell you. Okay. I then went to the FBI and said, okay. He called and said he had a reason to talk to me. And I said, can you find out why? The FBI contacted him, found out the reason why. The agent notified me. The reason is an injunction for harassment. I said, well, if he has an injunction for harassment, come to my house and serve it. No problem. Instead, he continues I, 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 to I, 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 call me. I have a question for you real quick. So you just acknowledged to me that his first interaction with you was legitimate, which means there's not a series of harassing events at this point. The first call, there was multiple calls on the first day. The first call on the first day, yes, I'm trying to go through the series of events. He, the very first call, you're, I'm not claiming it's a legitimate reason, ma'am. You're claiming it's a legitimate reason. You, you're saying. No, you're not claiming it is, but I'm not saying where you said he called you multiple times. I'm allowing, I'm allowing, I'm allowing, I'm articulating this under the uh, assumption that we're using your determination that the first one was right. legitimate. So I'm saying, okay. if you're saying the very first time he called me was legitimate, right? You're saying it was a legitimate purpose. There's an order. All right, cool. He had a legitimate purpose. He called. I said, if you have something for me, come to my house and give it to me. That's how the process works. I don't need to meet you at a coffee shop somewhere to get, a, get an injunction against harassment. I, okay. And so, but, but I'm telling you, 
The officer did not say he had an injunction for harassment. That's what I'm saying. So to me, I don't feel it was a legitimate reason because under your premise that the very first time he called me, so you're saying somebody issued the order, he got it, and then he called me. Well, then when he called me, he could have just said, I have an injunction for harassment. Instead, he did not tell me the reason he was calling me. So therefore, in my estimation, it was not a legitimate reason because if it was a legitimate reason, he would articulate, I'm call I'm um, Officer David Hill of the Tucson Police Department. I'm calling you for this legitimate reason. And this is the legitimate reason I'm calling. Okay, well, that's okay. I'm saying I don't believe it was legitimate because he wouldn't tell me why he was calling. Based on, your, based on the petition that you filed right now, based on the information you included in your petition, it appears there was a legitimate purpose. How? I'm going to deny, I'm, hang on, I'm going to deny your petition. However, if you have additional information that you want to include in an injunction against harassment petition, you can come back and refile. Because um, based on what you, you, you've, you've shown me right now, at least one of these incidents was, was based on an attempt to serve you with a legal service of process. You can't um, say that, ma'am. Pardon? Are you reading the um the the part where I put my like where I physically typed my you know what I mean the parts where I made my statements? Do you realize those are multiple times, not all one time in the same day? No, because you only put the one day. No, what I'm there's no what I'm saying is is there was multiple contacts on the same day. Are you realizing? But on the fourteenth, the majority of your paragraph there isn't about contact. With Mr. Hill, it's about you talking to the FBI. That's what I'm saying, ma'am. You're, you're, you're stating for the record that when he first called me, it was a legitimate reason. And I'm saying I have the call recorded and you can listen to it on my YouTube. When he called me for the first time, he did not identify that he had an injunction for harassment against me. It was not a legitimate purpose. If you're saying he, he had an injunction... But then he, she didn't, then if it, if it, to make the phone call legitimate, the very first contact to make it legitimate, he would have needed to say, I'm contacting you for this legal reason. I have an injunction for harassment against you, not quasi threaten me and try to intimidate me by saying, oh, I'll catch up to you when I see you and all this stuff. And then I called the FBI. They told me this guy has never told me that. Okay. I'm saying the FBI told me about the injunction, not the officer who... So if it's a legitimate reason, if it's a legitimate reason, ma'am, ma'am, if he has a legitimate reason, all he has to do is say, I'm Sergeant Hill. I have a legitimate reason. I'm calling you for this injunction. I'm telling you that based on the information that I have in front of me, there is a, a valid injunction that, was, that someone was trying to serve against you. I'm assuming it's Mr. Hill. Of course, I don't know have any way to know that. What I can say is if you get served with your injunction of harassment and you continue to be contacted by Mr. Hill for something that does not appear to be related, you may have a basis to file for an injunction at that time. Right now, I cannot find that the information that you have provided satisfies the requirement to get an injunction against harassment. I am going to deny your injunction against harassment. Sir, of course, that means you can try and refile if you have more information that you need that you can provide us. Can you tell me what um, information okay. that this is disqualifying specifically in the statements? Because, you know, I'm, 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 I'm taking it what you say. It, but in, in order, and what you're saying is, is, is based on your knowledge, there's an injunction. Okay. And you're saying when the police officer contacts you and, and there's an injunction, that's a legitimate reason. And I'm saying, how can you articulate for the record that a police officer can call you and not tell you why he's calling you and that still be a legitimate reason? I can't, I, I, I'm not even sure I understand your question, sir. Ma'am, ma you just said that, you, you said that you're, you're inclined to deny, you said you're in, inclined to deny the injunction I am denying your injunction. because you're saying that the first contact was legitimate and I'm saying, shouldn't the officer have to tell you why he's calling you to make it a legitimate phone call? That if, is something you're going to need to take up with the Tucson Police Department or whoever's trying to. No, I'm taking up with the judge who's claiming that it was a legitimate contact. If it was a legitimate contact, there has to be elements. Basis to be so what are the elements of a legitimate basis, ma'am? What is the court? What is the case law? What is an, what is a legitimate basis constitute? It, this one says an injunction against harassment, which must be served by law enforcement. Then when he calls, he needs to say, I'm trying to serve you an injunction for harassment to make it legitimate. If, if serving me an injunction...
You're talking in circles, ma'am. You're, you're, you're talking in circles and gaslighting us all, and it's clear you don't know the law or the procedures. You can't articulate the legitimate purpose. So, um, th what, what I can tell you is there is an injunction against harassment against you. Well, then why haven't they served it? You may come to the courthouse, and you may um, sign an acceptance of service, and I have contacted the person down at the order of protection desk to let her know that you would like to come in and sign an, uh, an acceptance of service. And they are aware. And they said you can do that. So you need to come to Pima County Superior Court. Come to the desk on the second floor. And after that, after you sign your acceptance of service, if you continue to have issues with Mr. David Hill, then please file again. Okay, but but just so we can, thank you. And, and just so we can, I appreciate that, ma'am. And thank you for that. And now just to clarify your statement, because you use the word need, and I'm not going to get into semantics. You're saying I have the option of coming down there. There's no, that's not a lawful order, right? If you, if you feel, if you have, if you feel you have a basis to file for a protective order. No, I meant to receive service. You said, you said that I can come down to the second floor and all that, right? Yes. But you, the way you said it, the way you said it is, you said you need to. And I'm saying, is that a court order or is that an option that I have? Court order. I apologize. If I said need, that would have. That's what I'm saying. I just want to make sure you're saying I have that option. Right. You're saying I have that option. Right. If you, right. If you want to accept right. service, you right. would need to come down. And, and okay, so you're saying I have the option to come in and accept service, but can you? Yes. I know you're busy, but but can you see how I wouldn't voluntarily do that because I don't agree with it? You see what I'm saying? Do you see how we're kind of? And I respect well, your I, position. I understand. I'm just saying if, if you would like the if you would like law enforcement to stop contacting you to try and serve it, this is the way to do it. So how long do they have to serve it? I, that I can't answer. So they can just harass me for the next however long and say it's just because yeah, of that? They, they, have, they, can, they can serve it whenever, as long as it's valid. Doesn't it expire at some point? You have to serve it within so long? I think there is a period of time. Off the top of my head, I don't know it. But um, it's, it's longer than five days. I know that much. I so, think it's, it's right. You'll, so you'll allow that I have the option to come down there and serve it, right? So that would also mean that the... The police have the option to come to my house and serve it, right? I would. I. I, I can't answer that. What do you mean? Are you saying there's some law that stops them? They are allowed to, to do valid legal service. Yes, they can. They can serve you at my house, right? Like all the other process servers do. I mean, that is one way to serve you. Absolutely. It's, it's not required to do it that way. Do you way. think? Do you, does the law allow for you to just and call and harass the person and, and, and threaten to serve them instead of serving them? How long do they get to threaten to serve me? So you're getting into the area of legal advice, which I can't answer for you, and I'm sorry about that. No, I'm not asking for legal advice. I'm asking you to state for the record how long they have, how long it's a, it still maintains a legitimate purpose of them calling me when they have this service. They know where I live. I told them to come to my house and give it to me, and, and I'm asking you... I've denied that you filed today again i've mentioned that you can come back and file again if you continue to have issues after you have been properly served um or if there's some other reason why they're contacting you that has nothing to do with this injunction i can't tell based on what you filed that i can't find that there was an unlawful or unreasonable or non-legitimate purpose um but can i that, am i, I allowed to appeal this ma'am do i have appeal I rights on this um i gonna i think you have appeal rights on everything so yeah well i'm not sure i mean if it's procedural can i do i do a motion for reconsideration with you or do i go to like do a special action writ of mandamus what do i do but again you're asking for legal advice and I i'm asking for procedural that. with your court right i don't know i don't need legal advice whether i should or not i just want to know is there a process i actually don't know I, I've never, I've never had an appeal on an ex parte order of protection because you can always file another one. That's scary, but I, I get I, it. I, 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 know, I know that's scary to me, but I get it. Way. It's funny how they got one. So, so you're saying it has to be a legitimate reason within the last year, but they can put something that happened two and a half years ago and then they can get one, right? That's what I happened. Don't know. I don't know. I don't know because I don't know the basis of what was served against you. So you're saying I should have included that with this, but I did had no way to attach it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. But like I said, second floor, Pima County.
County Superior Court, there's an acceptance of service that you can sign and pick up the copy of what they were trying to serve you with. I mean, and, and just as legitimately, they can find me, like they said, right? Right, but that's why they're calling you. That's not why they're calling me, but I'll. But you have better things to do right now than argue with me, ma'am. I, I respect that. And so that's not why they're calling me, but that's what that's your impression of why they're calling me. But it's my impression based on the information I have. Right, and I respect right that, now. and I can't argue with that. That's your impression based on the information you have. You know, I have more information than you. You know what I mean? And that's why. And that's, that's fair. And if you get more information that you can include in your petition, you can, of course, file again, okay? I didn't see a way to attach it. That's what I'm saying. Um, I have it now. I just didn't see how to attach it. You would have to come in person to hand it in to the judge to, to look at. Like to bring it as like most, a... Most of, these, most of these orders, they're done in person. We don't have very many over the phone. All right. Now, see, I'm learning something. Then I could have brought my, my documents and exhibits. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was only the phone, whatever. All right. So I... Like, we're done arguing. That wasn't my intention. You gave me some advice. You know, not advice. Uh, some good, uh, you know what I mean, feedback. Information. Good feedback. And so, uh, okay. uh, thank you. All right. Yep. Well, good luck to you, sir. I'm, um, I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it. Ha, ha, ha. I'm just kidding. Maybe I'll see you soon right. when I file one of these writ of Do you only do these? No. Okay. Yeah. Lay Myers might be coming to a courtroom near you. Okay. All right. All right, sir. You have a good day, okay? You too. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.